Hi and welcome to my channel, I'm Lauren. Thank you so much to all the people who have subscribed so far to my channel. I'm really, really grateful that you have joined me here and I hope that you will be inspired in some way through my videos. I'm excited today. I have a video all about painting roses, a beautiful rose garden using gouch mostly. I think I'm not, I never know if I'm saying that word right, but gouch. <laughs> Oh, yeah anyway <laughs> I'm just gonna call it gouch gouch paint and um, it was like it's a really really awesome paint um, type of paint if you haven't used it before um, it's a little bit different to acrylics um, it usually dries in a more like matte kind of way and um, anyway it can be really like smooth to paint with and quite nice um, and fun to use so I definitely recommend um, trying out some gouch. So in this video, I'm going to be sitting outside. <laughs> it's been beautiful weather here. So I really, really enjoyed being able to paint outside again and just be in the sunshine. And uh, you'll see um, the cat <laughs> is gonna make an appearance. Um, we have a cat that lives here and um, this cat just loves attention so anytime that you are anywhere near it it just is so happy that you're there and it's just like so anyway I'm trying to paint roses and <laughs> little cat is just all over the place so you'll get some little appearances of the cat here and there but I hope you enjoyed this video please do subscribe and like it if you um, enjoy this video and Let's get going. Just saw a butterfly. Oh my gosh. <gasps> First butterfly of winter. 
That is a good sign. Oh my goodness. Are you a happy cat? Are you a happy cat? And to clean your eyes. Okay, so now we're at the part of the video where I'm going to be drawing and painting the roses. I decided I would draw the roses on white paper and then cut them out after I painted them and attached them to my background. My biggest advice for drawing roses is to start from the inside and kind of layer the leaves and petals as you're going. Um, my biggest advice for painting roses is to use about three or four shades of like a similar color. So in this case, you can see I have a yellow, I've got a cream, and then I'm using a red kind of tone as the darker shade. Obviously having white is really important too. I had to use acrylic white because my gouache white is completely gone. It was the first color that goes. <laughs> I'm using these colors and you can see how I use the darker color um, to sort of help distinguish the petals from the ones that are beneath it or above it. And what I love with gouache is that it really blends super easily and you can see here I sort of um, kept doing the blending as I was going. So while the paint is still wet is when you want to kind of be blending it and adding the um, sort of white lighter tones and things like that. So this was the first rose that I painted and it sort of ended up being a couple of different shades of color in it. But um, I saw a rose like this back in the summer and I really, really loved it. So I wanted to paint this one. And I'm going to be showing you a couple of different styles of roses and also different um, colors of painting roses. So here I am drawing a different um, viewpoint of a rose, so more of like a side view. And I had to kind of focus and concentrate when I was doing this because for anyone I'm sure um, who's tried to draw a rose, they're quite difficult to draw. And it's taken me a lot of practice to actually get it anyway decent. So um, this is sort of how it turned out, started from the inside again. And I was looking at a photograph that I had taken um, of a rose in order to like see how I wanted to draw it. For this rose I chose to use once again like three or four different shades of color of a, of a similar color and majority of this rose ended up being in yellow and then I ended up using a brown as my darker shade because um, there's not too many colors that are darker than yellow or that can go with yellow so I thought brown is kind of a shade that can sort of blend in with yellow. Um, I ended up having to lighten the brown a little bit so that it wasn't like too 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 dark against the yellow but um, the brown really helped to distinguish the, the petals from each other so I liked how that turned out in the end and I used the cream tone to kind of show the curling of the petals 
and also helped distinguish the petals from each other when I was painting this rose. For the last three roses, I did this one in purple shades, purples and pinks, and then I did a red one, and I also did a cream or light pink kind of one at the end. So that is the final um, artwork in this art journal that I've been working in. Um, it's a rose garden. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope that this video gives you some tips on how to paint roses because personally I've always found um, roses to be like one of the most difficult flowers to paint. I don't know what it is about roses but maybe it's just like the layers of petals and um, they all kind of have to sit differently and stuff. So anyway in this video Hopefully that gave a couple of ideas. Um, I think like over the years I've kind of been practicing painting them and um, I'm pretty happy with how these ones turned out. Um, <laughs> of all the roses that I've ever drawn, these are probably the better ones. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me here and I will see you again 
see.